Hello, in this ionic video we are going to cover footers. Footers are basically just a small region at the bottom of the, bottom of the screen. They're essentially the opposite of a header. Header is at the top, footer is at the bottom. Very basic stuff. And for styling it, you can use the exact same classes that you use for a header. So they are right here and they'll be available in the source code. So to add a footer, you do div. Actually, you know what? Before I even do any of this, I'm going to run the application. So you can see what it looks like with just a header and a subheader, and then show you what it looks like with a footer added. Okay, okay, so this is just loading up. I wish it would load faster. Really do. Okie dokie, so loading up now, almost done. Come on, any second now. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our header, our subheader. So now let's add a footer to do that. You do a div inside the div. Well, actually, first of all, you add some classes. It's going to be bar, bar dash footer. So for the footer, that's the only difference, really, is you put a footer there instead of header and now we're going to put bar dash whatever style we want to use so i'm going to use royal so royal and inside you just put div class equals title and i'm just going to put footer save that and we'll build this so ionic build ios not boiled build ios so let's just wait for this to build our project, which just essentially just copies, or it does other stuff, but it just copies the WW folder. Okay, now so let's rerun our application. As you can see, we have a footer at the bottom now. Another cool thing I wanna show you is if, for example, I've got this footer, and I add a button. We haven't covered buttons yet. I will be covering that in a separate video. So this is an, a, an explanation of the button CSS component at all. I'm just gonna quickly with through coding this up. So I'm just gonna code up a button. So bear with me, bear with me. And you'll see something really, really cool that the footer component does in Ionic, which is fantastic. So I'm just gonna call this left, save that. And now compile it. Now rerun the application. As you can see, we got our button, but it's actually on the left. It, it, it's actually anchored to the left. It's not next to it or anything. And let me show you what happened if I were to put another button after it I think as you can imagine it puts it to the right which is a great way of creating your UI without having to do well extra code to style it so as you can see we've got our title we've got the buttons on the left and the right and as I said we're going to cover button buttons from Ionic in more depth in a separate video so check that out and you'll be able to see how to create a variety of button styles one thing to note is if for example i delete all of this code so i, I only have a button here so if i save that i'm just going to leave the text as it is if i build this rerun the application So, as you can see, we've got the button on the left, but what if we wanted the button on the right without having a title inside the footer? To do that, you just simply add a class of pull dash right, and now if we build it, rerun our application.
as you can see, it's now anchored to the right, which is fantastic. But what I'm going to do is just leave it like so, so you can easily modify it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. Uh, I mean, feel free to, uh, I sort of said it and them at the same time, so anyway, feel free to post them it. Uh, something along those lines. Feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that. There'll also be a link in the description to our GitHub page, which has all the source code from this series. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.